So today I'll be talking to you about the Real Techniques brushes from Samantha Chapman. If you guys don't know who Samantha Chapman is, shame on you, first of all. And second of all, let me tell you who she is. She's part of the Pixie Woo channel. She's, you know, there's Nick and there's Sam. Well, Sam came out um, over a year ago with a line of brushes which are amazing like these brushes are amazing let me tell you that so there's actually three kind of sections to this um, line of brushes there's the brushes with the pink handle which are for um, perfect finishes brushes there's the yellow, br uh, the yellow, the purple uh, handle, which are for the eyes, and there's the yellowish orange handles brushes that are for uh, bases. So, more about those brushes. They're Teflon bristles and they're hand cut, so they're very, very well shaped, um, easy to clean. You can use dry product, cream product. Any kind of products on those they'll return to their natural state after uh, it's easier to clean brushes that are synthetic and they will return to their natural state I find other than just natural ones sometimes you need to put some sort of um, a brush guard so that they keep their shape but with synthetic brushes it's really easy to find their shape again also about about the design itself it's sleek, it fits right in the hand. It's not too heavy, not too light, because I have a couple of light brushes. They just tend to come out of your, oh, I almost dropped this one. They just tend to like fall out of your hand. But this one is really, really nice because it's a wider angle coming out. It fits just nice in your hand like this. So really, really nice. Um, cleaning them, no problem at all. They come back to their original size, shape, everything um, shedding I don't have a lot of shedding to be honest not that I recall maybe like for one certain brush but the others no shedding at all and yeah really really easy of course I clean them the same way I clean my brushes so just clean them till them like that so the excess water goes right out typical brush cleaning type of thing really really easy now what I love about these brushes that one most of them can sit on top of a flat surface like it's probably not gonna work but they have a very flat end over here so can they it's really pretty when you just put them up like this and also if you're new to the makeup game on the brush itself it says for what it's generally used like this brush over here it says blush brush of course, you could use your brushes the way you want, but this is a good uh, a guide for you guys. So let's get started with the brushes that I have. This is the blush brush. Of course, this is ideal for blush. It fits right on the cheek over here, but I love using this brush for a bronzer. Just dip it in a little bit of bronzer, swoop, swoop, and you're done. It really, really, really easy, nothing to this is like one of my favorite brushes from the whole line, if not my favorite brush for um, bronzer application. You need to check it out. And this is the blush brush. Next, you have my other favorite brush. It is the setting brush, and it looks like this. Now, what I love it for is basically once you've done your foundation and you need just a little powder in some areas, this is ideal. Like, let's say I want powder here on the nose, chin, but what it's perfect for, it fits right underneath the eye, like perfect fit. I use it for that. I've never had a brush other than this that would actually just fit perfectly right underneath the eye, so that's what I use it for. And of course, highlighter as well, a light highlighter over here. I, I have big features, but for others, when I do makeup on my clients, this is really, really good for highlighters too. It's fluffy, it's a big fluffy brush, Good, good, good. Now, another f another favorite of mine, these are all basically favorites, but I'm starting with my favorites. This is the stippling brush, like this. Duo fiber, well, duo fiber. This is basically all synthetic, but the duo fiber look, flat surface, 
I love to uh, use this for stempling and of course if you're you want to save time you can just like buff it in I love this with all my heart this is beautiful beautifully shaped it's just the right density also it's not too pack it's not too um dense you know sometimes how brushes can be too dense this is just the perfect density now the only thing is I've washed this many many times and usually I'm not a person that will leave dirty brushes on the counter but there's a little bit of um see there's still some color in there I'm gonna try to use other kind of brush cleaner but that's the only downside of it but I know it's clean so it doesn't really bother me but this brush for some reason tend to um, leave a little you know whoopsie doopsie on there maybe it's the foundation also I'll try other types of brush cleaner now these brushes were all of the brushes well not all of the brushes but all of the brushes that I have for this series which are perfect finish now let's move on to the eyes a lot of favorites there also you have the deluxe crease brush right over here I think I'll insert a photo instead it's easier um, deluxe crease brush this is a magnificent at first when I saw it I was like oh maybe it's too packed for the crease but no it's perfect for the crease it goes right in and of course you can blend it upwards also and this is quite highly packed of bristles in there which which I believe is why it's really really helpful when you want to blend something out but another purpose of this that I love is a concealer right underneath the eyes you buff in your concealer this is pure magic next you have the base shadow brush now on the website it says you use your eyeshadow base to apply this but I use this as a blending brush also or just you know a light application of eyeshadow I like this this blends the eyeshadow perfectly and of course you can use this as concealer as well so really really nice it's flat on one side and more fluffy on the other as you can see right over here so this is perfect nothing against it whatsoever next you have the shading brush now this is basically a 239 from Mac just to kind of apply eyeshadow nothing special about it nothing major it's just a really nice brush to apply shadow it, it help, it's not too big not too small so you can get into the tear duct area highlighter underneath the brow really really nice multi-purpose brush now we have the accent brush right over here now I like this brush because I have kind of small eyes so it helps me I use this usually on the lower lash line or when I want to apply a highlight right in the tear duct area it's very very small really really helpful for that it could also be used as a lip brush believe it or not I tried this for lips it really really works well so good brush if you're not too keen on the very small brushes maybe pass on this one but I love small brushes like this now another brush is called the pixel point eyeliner brush now this I have been trying and trying and trying and I think it's just not for me usually my eyeliner I like to use a angle brush now I've tried this with liquid liner I tried this with cream and gel it's okay I mean it's well shaped but what I don't like about it is that the handle is quite big so let's say I want to go in the inner corner usually the handle will touch my lid instead of the actual um, bristles but I'm not a big fan of this but it does the job but it's not my weapon of choice next now you have a good liner brush now this is the fine liner brush see the difference between the two and see the handle see here there's an angle that's what I would have wanted on this over here now this is really really good if you like those kind of loose eyeliner brushes to do your liner um, this is really 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 good uh, once it's of course as you can see the bristles they're a little bit um, crazy that's how I got it actually so it keeps its shape but you need to soak this brush with product you know you need to use a lot of well not a lot of product but you just need to make sure that the bristles are covered with 
product so it's see I just applied a gel liner on top once it's soaked with product it's way easier to get a very fine line so just make sure if you use this that it's soaked with product so you can do a line next we have the brow brush now this is a brush that unfortunately I don't like is a little bit actually it's quite thick for brows especially if you like to define your brows um, this is a little bit too big unless you just want a little wash of color in there um, but this is definitely not one of my favorites I would definitely pass on it um, I've tried using it as a liner again it's too thick it's not working for me so it's a no-go for me for this one next let's move on to the base of brushes now let's start with um, the foundation brush this is the foundation brush now this is really really lovely I have nothing against it but for some reason I don't know if it's because maybe it's an error when it was made or something but there's a lot of flyaways I don't know if you can see that see like the bristles are bent and this is how I got it actually and when I wash it it gets tangled in the middle it's really really hard to tell but when I wash it and I've washed these kind of brushes before um, it gets tangled for some reason. I'm not too sure why, but this is your typical foundation brush. Really, really lovely. What I also like it for is if you decide to use a cream, a bronzer or something to uh, define your cheekbone or around the forehead, this has an angle. So it's really nice to get right in the cheekbone area, right in the hollow part over here. So this I really like and you blend it out of course with the sponge or your finger or another brush. But this is a good brush. I'm just not too sure if there was the manufacturer of it, but it gets tangled really, really easily. After you have the buffing brush. Now this is really, really lovely. It reminds me of a MAC brush. Um, I really like it. Nothing against it. It's just a buffer brush. Um, you could buff uh, cream foundation, liquid foundation, any sort of foundation, even powder. This works really well. No complaints whatsoever. After you have the expert face brush. Now this is what it looks like. This is basically a rounded kabuki. So once again, I use this as uh, it could be used as a foundation to buff in your foundation. But what I like it for is for my um, cream blushes or cream highlighters. It's really, really nice because it has a rounded top. So when you apply it, you just, you know, it fits right onto the skin and just perfectly. Of course, you could use it. It's another multi-purpose brush. You now have the contour brush, which is another one of my favorites. Um, believe it or not, but I don't use this as contour because it's a little bit too small for me. I have big features, so if I do like this, it's quite small and I need to work with a bigger brush. But what I like it for, before she released the other brush, this one over here, because this one is rather new, I was using uh, this one to go right underneath the eye with powder to set my concealer or apply highlighter so this is basically the same purpose as this but this just fits really really perfectly underneath the eye this you can do whatever you want with it foundation buffing whatever it's just really really good and now we're moving on to my favorite brushes. Now, I think my favorite brush of all, I'm excuse myself because it's dirty, but my favorite brush of all this collection um, is the pointed foundation brush. Now, I don't use this as foundation because it is quite small to use as foundation, but I use this as concealer brush. Once again, it fits just perfectly right underneath the eye and usually I do my concealer with this triangle shape, then blend it out. I It's narrow on one side, so contour my nose right here, chin a little bit over here, highlight. This is lovely for a highlight creams, foundation, concealer. Not a big fan of all over foundation for the face because it's going to take me a whole lot of time. A big face man over here, but this is my favorite brush of all of these. And of course, another, basically, another brush, it's the baby of the big one over here. So this little brush is called the Detailer Brush. Now this, what I use it for is usually 
if I make a boo-boo or something, I'm gonna take a little bit of foundation or concealer and just apply it on top. You could use this as, I like it as a liner, believe it or not, because on the narrow side, it's just, it fits really, really well onto the skin. It glides perfectly. But what I usually use it for is just to really define my brows underneath. I will go with a highlighter or a lighter foundation and just helps me get a very, very defined brow. Now this, I would definitely purchase. I really like it. Once again, if you're not a fan of this very, very small, itsy bitsy point brushes, pass on it. But this is one of my faves. Now, let me catch up. Let me catch my breath. The last brush that I have, it is the Kabuki brush, like this. I like it because it's angled, and what I love about it is that it opens up. If I can open it up, wait a second, like this. So this is really nice for bronzer as well. Dip in a little bit of bronzer, remove the excess, bam, bam. One swoop, really, really nice. Um, also, buffing brush, apply powder, multi-purpose brush, really, really nice. I like it because a lot of Kabuki brushes take a long time to dry because they're so highly, like, packed. But this, because you open it, is going to take half of the time. So when I wash it, I just opening up, open it, lay it on the counter, and this dries really fast, believe it or not. And that's basically it for this brush review overview. I've given you my two cents on it. Of course, I'm missing a couple of brushes, so I'll have to get other brushes. I'm going to leave in the info bar below where you can purchase these brushes because I've had millions of questions about where I can get those brushes. I know they're available in the States, but I'm, I'm from Canada and they're very hard to find here. Well, actually, they're not distributed in Canada, but I'll post in the info bar below when you can, where you can purchase them and where you can find them in stores all around the country. So, thank you, Sam, for um, creating those brushes. Those brushes are amazing. They change the way I apply makeup, so keep doing what you do. I love it. Thank you for being an inspiration and hopefully guys you've enjoyed this review and um, all of the brushes that I showed you. I will see you very soon. Bye.